Hi guys, it's Fernanda. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we do our thumbnails. So this is pretty much how our kind of team looks. We do kind of like the same. But um, yeah, so before I start, make sure you guys comment as many requests as you have down below because I have absolutely no video ideas. So make sure you guys go comment some down below and I'll be sure to do them. So yeah. Um, so also comment down below if you guys want to see this tutorial on Piggy Monkey since I do it on Photoshop but you can pretty much do it on both. So yeah, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Photoshop. So let's get started. Okay, so first what I do is just go to file, open, and then just pretty much insert the the screenshot that I took from the video. So let's, let's say this was a Camtasia Studio tutorial. I'll just um, put the... The screenshot that I took, obviously with a timeline in a video, but since I didn't have anything, I'll just snapshot like the Camtasia editor. So, yeah, but the first thing I do is go to filter. Uh, well, I select the layer, filter, and then go to blur, and then Gaussian blur, or, or however you say that. And then I, most of the time, put it on 4.3, but if it's like a different, like that I want to make sure you guys know what it is like background i would like to 3.6 or just you know play around with it but as as much blur you have is as much your text is gonna pop up but make sure you don't do this because it doesn't look cool yeah you can see that but i'll say 4.3 is the best because you can still see it but it kind of is blur so just click ok and this will just make your text like pop up a hundred times so then what I do is go to this tool and then select the color I will be using for my little like um, text so then I'll just do pretty much this just pretty much um, see what I'm gonna write and if it will like fit then I go to text and then just use like a hundred and fifty will be good I think and I always use this font, which is Bebas New. I don't know how to say that, but okay. I'm going to put with a purple font. Yeah, purple is good. I'm going to put thumbnail. Oh my god. Tom I definitely cannot type. Um, and then just kind of see if it fits. And as you can see, it doesn't. But what I do is just go to the, the last layer I did. Which was the rectangle and just kind of make sure it fits and it still has some space out because it will not look cool like all like joined together okay then what i do is just add another rectangle um with another color let's see a pink and then i'll put i'll put tutorial in here so let's see that and then let's add text let it Let's put it on 200. Oh, not 2000. Okay, 200 is good. And then tutorial. But I actually wanted another color, like a turquoise. Oh, I didn't select that. Okay. Oh, like this blue will be fine. Then I'll go to here and then just make sure it fits again. And it kind of has a slate, like a space that it's like without text so i will just trim that out you know seeing that it has some space left as well so it doesn't look so like, you know how and then what i would like to do is merge the layer like the rectangle with its like text so it'll be this one like the blue rectangle with the thumbnail text and then just right click and there then merge layers so it will be just one and then just do the same with the other one so what it does is just basically instead of moving first your rectangle and then the text it just basically one so yeah and then i'll just play around with it see how it looks best and yeah that's pretty much what i do and then if i am feeling it uh if i see like super like blank like i do now i will put like a overlays but what i'm gonna do first is i think i'm gonna add i'm gonna see how a stroke will look because i do it that with like um pretty much everything but i like how it looks it just gives like a sharp look so i'll just right click blending the options and then a stroke 
and that's it then I will go ahead and put a camera like overlay make sure it's PNG some pictures like doesn't appear like the little squares but once you save it you will see that it's a PNG so yeah but make sure you search like you search it with a PNG I did pretty much the same just file open and then just open the picture I saved but I'll just drag it and put it on here then just make it smaller oh that's too big I'll put it right here and I'll put more overlays on here but what I like to do is just basically add a stroke to this because it pops way more because you see that the background is kind of like blackish in some parts so it doesn't like since the camera is black it doesn't really pop up so I'll go to the layer right click blending up options and then go to stroke but i'll put it on a white so yeah um i'll just go to stroke change the color to white since i want it to pop up a little bit more and then just put it you know to a six or something and then click ok and then i'll put it a little bit down there you go so see how it like changes a lot so yeah, then I'll add some, like, um, emoji overlay. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so pretty much I just go went to file, open, and then I will put these two. So, you just basically drag them to where you want to put them. And then do the same with the other one right here. And then I'll just grab this out because I don't need them. And since some of the emojis you save from Google already have like a white border like a sticker kind of thing i'll just leave it like that because i don't want to add like a stroke another stroke so yeah but i think this really gives touch like so i'll put this a little bit bigger so yeah that's pretty much how we do our thumbnails we just play around with it and just, you know, make it fun and colorful because that's what attracts people to click on your video. And yeah, but that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. enjoy. Comment down below if you guys want to see this, how to make this, but on Pick Monkey. And also comment down below some requests. I love you guys so, so, so much. And the 2K giveaway will be so soon. So just stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.